Hello everybody. So tonight we're making a super easy dish, steak and fries on the Blackstone. So uh, weeknight meal. I didn't get a chance to make a video last weekend. Uh, so we're just gonna slap this together. Simple steak and french fries on the Blackstone. Uh, thanks to my buddy Kent from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, I, I was looking for a suggestion on what to make. He was like, why don't you make french fries on the Blackstone? I'm like, you know what? I haven't done that in a really long time. So, uh, great idea. What goes good with french fries? Steak. So, I uh, got some, got a good deal on some, some New York strips from Publix, $8.99 a pound. And we're going to slap those suckers on the Blackstone. Uh, and then cook up some fries, some mushrooms, some onions, and make it really good. <laughs> and uh, so really easy to make, just a weeknight dinner meal, and we're going to put together this video for it. So uh, should be fun. So if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. And if you're a current subscriber, I want to thank you all for the support. Uh, we're still growing really fast, so uh, I love all the comments, I love the suggestions, the tips. I have no ego, so guys and girls, please let me know what you think, give me some suggestions, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, or tell me what you think we should do differently, and, and we'll keep on uh, improving. So everybody, I want to thank you for all that support, and uh, let's get cooking. All right, let's start with the ingredients. Right there in the center, we have three New York strips that I got on sale at Publix for $8.99 a pound, saving four bucks a pound. So I thought that was a great value. Um, left there, we've got some white mushrooms that we're going to slice up after we wash them and grill them up on the Blackstone. And then on the right side there, we've got a, a nice sweet onion. That we're going to do the same thing, slice and dice, and no dice, just slice and grill. Uh, we've got some french fries uh, that we're going to cook up on the grill as well. You'd be surprised how good these taste on the Blackstone. They come out really well. Salt and pepper, and then right there in the middle, we've got some Uncle Steve's Shake. Uh, that's the thick meat version. They've got uh, a couple different kinds. Uh, but that's the thick meat, and this is not this is not really thick meat, but we're going to use it like it's thick meat. So there we go. Uh, there you go. Daddy Dutch Barbecue. Uncle Steve shipped this specifically to Daddy Dutch. Take a bite. Now who's your daddy? <laughs> custom bottle, custom label. Uh, this stuff is awesome. You guys got to check out Uncle Steve's Shake. It is really good. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Uh, so we're just going to put this on these steaks. Nice and even. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of pepper in there. Uh, there is a little bit of kick to it, but not too much. It's really good. That's it. Flip them over. I did this about a half an hour before we put these steaks on. Which was plenty of time. So, here we go. Flip them over. And not to cross contaminate, I use my left hand here, and you can tell I am not left handed. <laughs> so, not quite as even, but it gets the job done. Uh, spread them out as evenly as possible uh, with the left hand there. And that's it, no big deal. Rub them out as, as needed, and then we move on to our vegetables. So here we have our Kuma knife, which uh, you can find in my link below. I love this knife. I'm gonna sharpen it up right here. Uh, it comes with it with the sharpener, which is really nice. And I I, sh I usually sharpen it every two or three times in between uh, uh, using it, three or four times probably. It and it sharpens right up. It's really good. And that's it. We dice up our or slice up our mushrooms nice and quick you don't want them too small you don't want them too big actually you can have you can slice them however you want this is how I like them so slice them up move them over get them out of the way and time for our onion so for the onion I usually 
cut off one end, cut off the other, give it a slice right down the middle, just like that, peel it across, and take off that outer skin. Nice and easy, get it out of the way, toss it away, and that's it. Slice them up. I cut it in half, and then just slice. This is how I like it with my steaks. Again, personal preference, you guys do it however you want. Slice them up and then put them on the same plate as the mushrooms. And just move them out of the way. And that's it. Now we move over to the grill and get that ready to cook. Potatoes down. Spread them out. Nice and even. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Why not? A little bit more Uncle Steve's Shake. This one's the original. I've used it a couple times. It's awesome. Give it a nice little coating here. It's not overpowering. It tastes great. Been a couple minutes, we will check them out. Ooh, they look good. pepper and a little more steams. Oh yeah. Let's cover those up. Depends on how you like them. If you like them nice and crispy and crunchy, you probably don't want to steam them up like this. If you like them on the little more on the mushier side, like I do, you probably do. I kind of like a combination. I like them crunchy on the outside and moist on the inside. So I'm gonna let these cook on the inside and then at the end I will spread them out and make them nice and crispy on the outside and we're gonna have the best of both worlds. Check on them. Yeah, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Oh, 
Kita nanti nak tahu. Definitely see some color. So now at this point, I think we'll spread them out a little bit. And get them on the surface. And get them nice and crispy. Looking good. Looking real good. You hear that sizzle? I will taste one just, just, just to see where we're at. Try not to burn myself. Mm. Oh my god. Another minute or two. That's it. But nice and crispy on the outside. All right, they are done. Keep those nice and warm in the Tupperware and cook our veggies. We do onions first because onions take longer. Just break them up here. Let me get free. That's it. Break them up. Get them loose. My favorite part, black stone. These are the mushrooms. Mm -mm. These will cook real quick. I'm going to stop these up. Got the heat on medium. And that's it. Let them sit for a little bit. And you can see they're already starting to get some color. Once they're about, I'd say, I don't know, 50% done, which is very soon, we will throw the mushrooms on as well. A little bit of oil, mushrooms, same thing, salt, pepper, these will reduce, will not take long.
Onions are looking good. Mushrooms are looking good. I knew I was forgetting something. But sure. We'll get this in here. And we'll make these really good. Get him in Z book here. That's for me. I knew I was forgetting something. Get the butter. These are looking great. Onions are done. This is off. Mushrooms. These are done too. That's it. Last but not least, the sticks. There we go. Let me show you. Oh. Beautiful. So these steaks are not super thick. I'd say they're about <clears throat> maybe three quarters of an inch. Um, not too bad, but they're not super thick. Uh, we're not going to cook them on super high heat. We're going to cook them on medium which will sear them nicely on one side after about three or four minutes and then we'll turn them over and sear them on the other side. I like mine medium rare. Miss Big Cat likes hers the color of the Blackstone. <laughs> so hers will stay on longer. Um, but yeah, so it shouldn't take too much. Three minutes on each side probably. Uh, probably four minutes on each side for hers. I'm guessing I can always cover with the grill dome as well Cook that inside Which I probably will actually Now that I think about it Let's give it a little flip See what we got. Oh my goodness Look at this uh, I'm trying to do this so you guys can hear it. Get from this side. Oh yeah, nice crusty sear. Looks beautiful. Oh yeah, that looks fun. All right, so this is coming off because that is looking beautiful. Look at that. That's going to be mine. 
This will be our leftover as well. Looks absolutely beautiful. And we will leave this big cat's on to get well done, which should not take long, but we'll leave it on. Hoo-wee! Oh man, look at that. Super simple, super easy. Uh, steaks, french fries, grilled onions, mushrooms, Uncle Steve shakes, uh, Daddy Dutch, thanks for hooking me up with that. I really do appreciate it. I've been waiting for a while for one of these. And man, I cannot wait. Let's dig in. Let's cut the steak right here. Look at all these mushrooms and onions. Oh, look at that. Perfect medium rare. Oh, beautiful. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. That has got some outstanding flavor. Oh man, that thick meat shape tastes awesome. I love it. Let's try a fry. Look how beautiful. Mm. Perfectly cooked. Nice and crispy on the outside. But done in the middle. Mm, 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 mm. Love it. Weeknight meal. We're going to go finish this meal. <laughs> everybody, excuse me, everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.